Hello, I'm Lorraine and I'm here to guide you through the short information video from Inclusion Ireland on the domiciliary care allowance. This film will take a few minutes to run and will be divided into five sections. Introduction Domiciliary care allowance Means test Half rate Rates The form Where to get the form How the form is divided What happens next Useful information. Introduction. Inclusion Ireland is the national organisation advocating for the rights of people with an intellectual disability in Ireland. Part of the work of Inclusion Ireland is to provide information on issues affecting people with an intellectual disability and their families. Inclusion Ireland received small grants to make a series of short films to provide practical information in an accessible format on making social welfare applications. This project is co-funded by the European Union under the Progress Programme 2007 to 2013. More information on Inclusion Ireland is available at www inclusionireland.ie Domiciliary Care Allowance Domiciliary Care Allowance is a monthly payment to carers of children aged under 16. It was announced in Budget 2012 that the age of the entitlement for domiciliary care allowance would be extended from 16 years to 18 years of age. However, this is now under review and as of October 2012, no decision has been taken on this. To qualify, your child must be deemed to have a disability so severe that the child requires care and attention and or supervision substantially in excess of another child of the same age. The department says that this means your child must need care and attention to allow them to deal with the activities of daily living. Eligibility for domiciliary care allowance is not based on the type of disability. Instead, it is based on the level of care and attention that the child needs. Even if your child does not have a diagnosis, this does not mean that you will not be entitled to the allowance. According to the department's guidelines, the medical assessors will take the following into account before giving his or her opinion on whether the child meets the medical criteria. Review the history of the case, consider all medical reports received, have regard to the description of the care and attention required by the child given by the parent or guardian. The child must be likely to require this level of care and attention for at least 12 months. Your child must also have a disability that is likely to last for at least one year. The child must also live at home with the person claiming the allowance for five or more days a week and be resident in Ireland. The person claiming the allowance must provide the care of the child and be habitually resident in the state. Means test. This allowance is not means tested. Half rate payment. Children who are being cared for on a full-time basis in residential homes or other institutions are not eligible for this allowance. However, children in residential care who go home may receive a half-rate payment if they are at home for two days or more a week. For example, a child who attends residential services from Monday to Friday and goes home at weekends. Rates the following are the rates for domiciliary care allowance in October 2012. The domiciliary care allowance rate is €309.50 per month. There is no restriction on the number of children for whom you may claim domiciliary care allowance. This means if you are caring for more than one child who qualifies for domiciliary care allowance, you may claim the monthly allowance for each child. Payment is made on the third Tuesday of every month for the current month. Payment may continue for up to 13 weeks if the child is getting medical or other treatment in hospital. Filling in the form. Where to get it? You can get the form online via the Citizens Information Board 
or social protection websites. You can also get hard copies of the form from your local social welfare office or your local citizens information centre. How the form is divided. The form is divided into seven sections. The first page of the form gives some directions for filling it out. It asks that you use black ballpoint pen, block letters and place an X in the relevant boxes. You need your PPS number. You need to fill in parts 1 to 5. Your child's GP completes parts 6 and 7. It is very important that you attach any reports or assessments relevant to your child's disability with the application and write your PPS number on the back of each page. Part 1 In Section 1, you will fill in your personal details. This includes your PPS number, name, address and date of birth. You then have to sign a declaration saying this information is correct. Part 2 Part 2 deals with your child's details, including their PPS number. It asks from what date was additional care needed for your child. If you're not applying from the date additional care was first needed for your child, it asks why you did not apply sooner. Part 3 This part asks how you would like to be paid your allowance if your application is successful. You can be paid via post office or a bank and you have to give your details. Part 4 This section is very important and you can use a separate sheet of paper if needed. Section 4 is broken down into different areas such as feeding, learning and mobility. You can add further areas on a separate sheet. You are asked to detail in what way does your child need additional care and attention. It is very important that you provide as much information as possible here. Any additional support your child needs with day-to-day -day tasks should be outlined here in detail. Below this box is a list of professionals who may be involved with your child's care. If there are any professionals involved with your child's care not on the list, please add them on a separate sheet. Part 5 In this section, you are asked to give permission for your child's doctor to give the Department of Social Protection information on their medical history. Part 6 and 7 The final sections are for your doctor to fill in. The doctor must fill details of the child you are caring for. The doctor must also sign and stamp the form. Along with getting your doctor to fill in the medical report, it is very important to get all reports and letters from the medical teams the person being cared for is involved with. Any information that shows the support the person needs in day-to-day -day living can also be submitted. The more evidence you have to support your claim, the better. What happens next? Your application form and supporting documentation should be sent to Domiciliary Care Allowance Social Welfare Services Office Department of Social Protection College Road, Sligo, Ireland Telephone 071 915 7100 or low call 1890 500 000. The website is www.welfare.ie. It is vitally important that you include all medical reports with your application. If your application is refused on medical grounds, you may submit additional information and ask for the case to be reviewed by a different medical assessor. However, this process can take many months. If you're not satisfied with the outcome of this review or wish to appeal on other grounds, you can appeal the decision to the Social Welfare Appeals Office. Useful information. If you need any help to complete this form, please contact your local Social Welfare Office or Citizens Information Centre. For more information on where these centres are and to download application forms, log on to www.welfare.ie or www.citizensinformation.ie
www.ghanaian.ie